Hey, what's up? Fulvio Panese here for Alpha Studios and you're watching our new video, Paper Templates. Today, I want to show you the process I use in making a paper template. Keep in mind that my techniques and materials may not be canon. So, if you want to try this at home, well, it's your call, fellas. And let's start with continuous form paper. It was used by needle printers and it's probably older than I am. Um, well, it's probably older than my dad. Well, whatever. Anyways, you know, as the same would suggest, it's continuous. Duh! Not really. This feature is nice because if you need to make a larger template, you won't have to tape every side of the sheet of paper, but only one, like this. See, this one is a pretty large template and I just had to tape this side, okay? See, that's the continuous form right here and this side is the one I taped. Anyways, okay, so while working with this I found really, really um, useful working with a ruler, a smaller ruler, but if it's transparent, it's better. Actually, you know, if you don't own, if you don't have um, a transparent ruler, then you're screwed. Uh, you might as well stop watching this video, really. I mean, just go, do, do some other stuff. No, okay. Um, then you have the tailoring ruler. Nice. Also works like a whip. Ah! Ah! No, okay. And one thing, it's the goniometer. It's really useful to track the angles, see how big they are. And I say that's about it. Let's say we want to make a Saint Seiya shoulder belt template to make a Forex Sintra copy. We start from taking our model right here, understanding the shapes and global look. Also understanding that getting 3D shapes into a 2D once is a hell of a job and you might as well probably die as you try and you never make it but if you think you're brave enough and you want to try this really bad you can start from taking this okay right here take the shoulder bell it's nice it's curved yeah, it's gonna be pain in the neck, but it's okay, we'll try. How long is, is this shoulder bell? Okay, we'll see it's about like 2.7 centimeters. And I know that the scale of the model is 1 eighth, so I need to multiply by uh, 12. I need to multiply times 12.5, but I'll just make it 12. So it's gonna be 32.4. Okay, so we can start from here. Okay. So, as you can see, here's my tape. I put together two, see, two sheets of continuous paper. And then I took the lines and I made the template. I didn't show you how I did it because it's boring and it's like everybody has to do their own. Uh, it's not something you can learn from watching me doing it. So I'd say it probably is good. So what you want to do is take it and try to see if it looks good on your model, on your armor. So we take this to the armor and we see if it's if it's okay, if it's fine. Okay, now everybody say hi to Joe. What's up, Joe? My best friend, my assistant. Really love him. Yeah. Anyways, we're now here to talk about this. So, I I'm taking my paper template and I'm putting it on the the armor to see if it looks okay. Yeah, I don't want it to be perfect, I just have to look okay so I can go on 
Okay, well, it looks good to me. You know, right propor proportions, right measures, right size. So, yeah, looks fine. But don't worry, you'll find out that in a few minutes, it won't be fine anymore. If you're like me, Icky, it's gonna be your greatest hell. But it's okay, I mean, I'll learn to deal with it. So yeah, I'll be 90 and probably still doing this stuff. But it's okay. Oh, almost forget it. Now, from the continuous form template, we want to go to the computer template. First, because you have nicer curves, more precise shapes, so you want to use the computer and then use the hard cardboard so you can later on put it on the forex, trace it, and then cut it. Okay, if I'm not clear enough, just stick with me, I'll show you how.